Many African leaders have used this summit in Abidjan as an opportunity to touch base on issues of mutual interest. Tunisian President Bejiqad Sibsi says he's committed to deepening relations with fellow African countries to complement economic development. Tunisia is very clear on the African dimension of its foreign policy, particularly diplomacy and increasing cooperation with other countries on the continent. Joint infrastructure projects and more direct flights between African cities will boost the continent's overall economy. The Tunisian leader has also met with Guinean President Alpha Condé, the current chairperson of the African Union. Khaida Sibsi has reaffirmed Tunisia's commitment to supporting AU initiatives and reforms. Tunisia's participation in this summit has highlighted the country's position on the regional and international stage. Tunisia and its African partners face many economic challenges, but together we can succeed. Experts in African affairs repeatedly point out that the continent has a lot of potential, from its abundant natural resources to its rapidly growing population, the continent offers a multitude of development opportunities. Investing in Africa is investing in the future. Tunisia is willing to share its expertise in agro-food processing, electricity, higher education, infrastructure and vocational training. Tunisia can help attract foreign investors and contribute towards building the continent. Following the 2014 elections, Tunisia has worked hard to improve relations with other African nations. Experts have repeatedly pointed out that African leaders themselves need to take responsibility for strengthening political and economic ties between their respective countries. Adin Shawashi, CGTN, Tunis.